Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. This is going to be a video today looking at the keyframable uh, volume option on Caden Live and explaining why that's useful and just to also offer another way of doing this. This being you have two audio tracks in Caden Live and one of them is background music. So I've just grabbed a bit of um, background music there from the uh, YouTube audio library, the free music. Um, and the second one is narration. So when you have two audio tracks, you may want to change the level of that background music so that at certain parts of the video, it's the main audio source. And at other parts of the video, when your talent or subject is talking, it becomes background audio because if it's playing at full volume, you're not going to be able to hear the narration. So in order to show how this works, I've put together a little timeline here um, based on a video I shot earlier in the week in Tel Aviv. It's me um, eating at an Indian restaurant and talking. So here's what I've laid out on the timeline. I'm just going to scrub through it here. I have a B-roll shot of the exterior of the restaurant. Nothing much going on there. Just showing what it looks like, a little title. Then I talk for a little bit. And then we have the same clip on the uh, other side. Now, this is me, the audio here, me speaking. I'm going to play a second of it. Now, the problem we have here is that it's very difficult to hear me because of the background music. So I'm going to show you what I would consider a less ideal way of doing this and a better way of doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is for this B-roll footage of the exterior of the restaurant, I'm going to ungroup the audio and the uh, video for that. I'm just going to actually delete the audio track. So there's going to be no audio coming from the actual camera here. We're just going to have the background music. So again, I've done the same process. Ungroup that clip, press the delete key. And now for the start of this video, we just have the background music and I'm going to just do a little bit of uh, fading in on the intro and I'm going to do a little bit of fading out on the outro of this clip, right? So, so far, so good. Now, I'm going to call this the dumb way to do it because this is how I've been doing it for the most part. I would, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. I would clip the audio where I want it to go down and clip the audio here and try to match it ideally to the exact frame. That's pretty much it. So now I've clipped my background audio track. Audio two here is the music. So I'm just gonna give it a name to make this more clear. And what I would do then is go into audio effects and you should see a gain setting and drag that on to the background music at the part, the intermediate clip where it's uh, playing alongside the narration. And then I would turn the gain down to something like 15. And I just listen with reference headphones to the audio and you know play around with the percentage until it's perfect. You, the audio isn't too quiet, but it's not so loud that it gets in the way of the narration. <clears throat> So that sounds good enough for the purpose of this demo. So that is uh, methodology one. Now what I'm going to do is actually um, go back a little bit. I'm going to undo my work here. I'm going to get rid of the gain and I'm going to uh, get rid of the cutting. And now we're back to kind of the start. Now what you can do as well is if you go into your audio effects, the very last option under volume and dynamics is called volume key frameable. So I'm going to drag the key frameable volume onto the background music, okay? Now I'm going to click onto that clip and we can see that we're able to keyframe the gain. Now the advantage of this over the first method, if you have Remember what we did was we uh, got rid of the music, then we put the gain down to like 20% and then back to 100. So those um, those uh, transitions from 100 to 20 in the space of one frame, it's gonna, it's gonna be very uh, stark. There's not gonna be really much subtlety to it. So we don't need to keyframe the start. 
What I can do is add a keyframe a little bit before the narration comes in on the keyframeable volume. I'm going to add one here, then a little bit after. Now you can play around with the best way to do this. And I'm gonna bring the gain all the way down to, now I like the way it visually represents this, right? You can see, well, it's gonna be pretty much full here. And now listen to this. So you can play around again with that floor. Is the floor too low? Perhaps minus 10 is better. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. And then um, on the other side here, we're going to want to bring the audio back up as we're coming to the end of the clip and we're fading back to that little bit of B-roll. So I'm going to again click on the background music track and I'm going to add another keyframe here. I'm going to add a keyframe just after the B-roll comes in. And I can actually either create gain, I can type zero decibels so there's no gain reduction, or I can uh, drag. The advantage of dragging is you can be a bit more granular, but I don't want to increase the gain to positive. I just want to increase gain to zero dB. Um, and that can be a little bit hard and finicky when you're doing with the timeline. One cool thing is if that sounds too, if it sounds, uh, too abrupt, I can make this a more gradual gain increase by moving this forward a bit and moving this to the end a bit. Or if it sounds too gradual, in other words, I want the background music to come up quicker, I can make that slope shorter. So let's listen to this now. And there you go. So I've faded back to the music and now I can do fade out of the video. So those are the two ways in Caden Live I know of, there may be others, if you have two different audio tracks, one of that one of those tracks is your background music uh, track, the other track is your narration, and you want to bring down the music for a little bit and then bring it up for a little bit, you can either directly apply gain, cut up your background audio and put gain on either side. It's going to work, but the uh, jumps might sound a bit too jumpy. So if you want to do it in a more smooth way, check out the key frameable volume effect and this can allow you to go very, very granular uh, in making those volume jumps with your background audio track. Hope this video is useful if you're a Caden Live user. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to get more videos from me about Caden Live tech and many other subjects, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.